la la la. No, no, I don't hear anything. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I hear stuff. It's streaming. Hey, there we go. There we go. Husband says the mic is working. As far as we know, we're all good. So uh, there's something that I, I find interesting when I used to sell cards in the shops and before that when I would buy them. I was always very, very amazed about the, um, uh-oh. So I'm hearing, I've got the lag thing going, so I've got a problem. Well, it's still going to lag. So. You turn off the second one. Okay. So now I don't have anything. Oh, all right. Here we go. Uh, well, pardon me for, for being a noob. We're figuring it out, and I'm still getting used to the lag thing. Um, so I've been buying cards for years, and then I started making them and selling them, and they got a little bit more professional as time went on. And... Uh, it's amazing how easy it is, and when people say, oh, oh, you know, I wish I could do something like that, and I think, well, you know, there's not really that much to it. Uh, the other thing I've noticed is that some of the uh, cards that are out there in the art stores for you to buy and do your own decorating on, it's two bucks a card, and um, especially if you want to do this as a little side income, you're not going to be able to buy your, your foundation and then add all your other things and then have something for your labor. It's going to be a $25, $35 card when you get done, and that's not going to happen. So what I wanted to show you today was a whole bunch of techniques. Uh, it won't be the last time I do the stationery, so if you've got any questions or there's a specific one that I rushed over, uh, just ask, and um, I'll be happy to you know, help you figure that out. So I got some manila folders, plain old, you can still see the, the markings on them. Got some manila folders at the thrift store, a great big wonkin' stack of them for two bucks. And so what I did was I got out all my house paints, my acrylic paints, leftovers from other projects, uh, spray paint leftovers, and I just um, had a little sponge, a little round couple of sponges, uh, made some streaks, I used a few tools, palette knives, you know. It was just a very free expression kind of thing where I just, you know, made a, a grand old mess. I put out a piece of cardboard and I painted all of these. I think there's 25 and we'll show you all of them. But um, then I went back, the ones that I felt were not as interesting, um, I went back and I dribbled more paint or did the toothbrush flatter. Um, there were three or four that I still didn't like after that and I gave them a little um, misting. Uh, with a coordinated color of spray paint. For example, this one got gold. Uh, let's see what else. I think this is my favorite one. I don't know why. I like that one. And, uh, you know, this can be themed. You know, you could do pastels for Easter. Uh, you could do um, your wedding colors. You could do uh, something for Christmas. Um, you know, it's it's just pretty much a a non-offensive card. There's not really any recognizable items on it. This is just streaks, you know, and then I took a palette knife and just, you know, scraped some paints over. It, literally, these are leftover paints from the other papers, and I just picked them up with a palette knife and scraped them on there. So, we've got all these bits of paper, and we'll just pick one. And the cards that I'm using if you catch them on sale at Joann's, let me get the label up there for you. <laughs> I'm going left to right. All right. Um, this, is a, this is a bigger bulk pack. Uh, you don't want one to put the printed front. What you're going to be looking for is you're going to want these to have the, you know, out comes the handy dandy shop knife. Always in my pocket. And, um, I don't 
like to be a real even everything perfect person with my art but by all means you could trim the edges of these and put them in a paper cutter or on an ultra mat uh, make them just exactly you know a perfect size uh, you could cut a template and pencil around that and uh, you know have the template made up for your cards you could even um, if you have some sort of a uh, Cricut cutter or something, you know, you could use that. You can have round cards. You could go get something that cuts out uh, beautiful little round circles and uh, ovals, and you could use one of those like a mat cutter. But this has a lot of green in it, so I know right away I'm probably going to be putting it onto a, a green or a yellow card front. So there's my little card, easy open. Thank you. Easy open. And I'm just literally going to trim out a little section of this. I know I'm cutting a lot of these out today, so I'll just go all the way across. And it's going to have to be narrow enough to go on the card. I like a little bit of a frame around it. The paint tends to not be quite the same right at the very edges. And I like to just sort of, you know, rather than manufacturing them by cutting them all perfectly to the inch. And I like to shape it a little bit. Now some of these I'll be leaving plain and some of them I'll be adding other papers to. But that one's pretty much good to go. We'll try and see what it looks like on a green background. Cut off a little bit of the yellow. And don't think any of this is going to get wasted. Every little bit of this scrap is going to become bookmarks. So don't worry, I'm not going to be tossing it out. There's another one. Now there's a little bit of shine on this because of the spray paint. But I often will go through, if the paper has a lot of matte finish to it, I will often go through and just give them a quick brushing uh, with a cheap uh, monochrome and poly polycrylic, you know, whatever kind of, something I've got leftovers of from some other project. So here's our bits and pieces that are scraps. And we're going to cut a little bit out of another one. Hey, husband. Um, can I get rid of that proactive shave club thing in the corner? No, I get to watch it. Okay. Oh, well, life can't be perfect, right? That's what I mean. I just wanted to give myself more room there. We can totally pop the chat out, but it's nice to see what your stream looks like at the same time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can see a little better. My husband's a techie in our household. 110%. Okay, I'm just cutting out another one. And sometimes, if I know I'm going to cut a bunch, no, nope. might take a minute. Okay. So now sometimes I'll, if I know I'm doing a hundred or two hundred cards, I'll just continue to cut these and just cut them all up. But since I know I'm just going to kind of be sampling a little here and a little there today, um, I will probably just go ahead and I just want to sort of see what they look like and show them off to you. Ah, I found, came back to that one that I really liked. Now you're not going to want to probably use the place where it's folded because the paint settled in there a little differently. So I'm cutting around that. And here's another one. Trimming off the edge where that little cutout was on the file folder. There's a little scrap for us to put into our bookmarks. There's another little piece. Trim this off, trim the side. Now here I'll show you something really interesting. If you trim this way down, it creates quite a bit of difference on the card. There's one with a lot of border on a red and 
here's one without a lot of border. And depending on the background color, and depending on whether you use another color of matte, you know, it can make a big difference. Some colors just pop right out. To my mind, the blue is the best choice by far. So I've got my little scrap pile growing over here. Now, if you can't get your hands on manila folders, something else that works really well is just to use boxes from products that you throw out in your kitchen. And I'm not kidding. You can just take this stuff. One of my friends gave me this. They eat lots and lots of this kind of stuff because they got kids in the house. And all you're going to do is just cut around, cut out the cardboard paper part. You know, it just comes right out of your recycling, you know. I can get two card fronts out of that, maybe three. Now you can either fold it all out flat and paint it all at one time and then cut it into sections like we did with the manila folders. Or I prefer, I think it wastes less paint to just put these all down on top of something and paint over them. And I'm not kidding, you can use house paint. You can use leftovers from other projects. Um, just about anything will work. Just about anything. So you can, if you want a more consistent color, flip it over. Use the either, you know, usually either a manila color or a brown like these, uh, tag board color. Uh, sometimes they're very, very white on the inside. Um, and different boxes are different. Uh, crackers, granola bars, noodles and things tend to have a little thinner box. Uh, something that holds trash bags or uh, uh, a heavier product, cleaning supplies, uh, bars of soap and so on. Those boxes might be a little thicker. So, you know, you'll get used to fingering it, you know, just like tooth on drawing paper. You'll figure out, you know, what you like to work with. So, by all means, that's a real good way to use up something that you would otherwise be putting into the trash. So we got our little scrap pile growing. I know I'm going to need small scraps, so I'm going to start slicing that up while I've got them laying there. Because these are going to become bookmarks. And one of my favorite things to do, especially when they start the reading program at the beginning of the summer, um, I like to make, no, I don't know, two, three hundred. It takes me all day and sit here and just uh, use up scraps of paper I've got at the shop. And... Um, you know, make a whole bunch of bookmarks to take down to the library so that when they start in the kids' reading program. Now, for those of you that are blessed to live in a place with lots of thrift stores, this big whack of paper was $1.99. You can see there's almost a ream of paper there. Hey, Papa! I was on your stream the other day and now you're here in my studio visiting me. What you working on today? Oh. Sometimes the thrift store folks, they really are into wrapping things up securely. Ooh, there's some nice paper in here. I like this black. It looks like somebody's extra Three or four sheets. <laughs> You're not asleep right now. Did you get rid of your sore throat you had? It was making you all gravelly yesterday. Yeah. Let's get that out in the middle of the space there so you can see it really well. And all that is, chopped up piece of the painted paper that we did out of trash. Simple piece of, nothing even feel like, it might be cardstock, if it is, it's cheap. There's our homemade card. You can go buy them at Joann's or you can fold your own. And there's our finished card. Almost finished. So when I get them, the framing matting part that I like, and I get the card picked out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank goodness I can just sort of, you know, holler that I'm unhappy about something. And my husband is so kind-hearted, he just takes care of it for me. And you know, otherwise, I, I really don't think I'd be able.